y'all welcome or welcome back to another video so for today i figured we would do a little head-to-head -head battle and just see how these products work in comparison to each other as you can see here i have already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair and right now i'm just making sure that i am getting all of that conditioner out before i start on this wash and go so for the main event we are going to be trying out eco slay's orange marmalade flaxseed gel against uncle funky daughter's curl stimulator so fun fact i actually prefer doing my wash and goes my entire wash day in the shower so if you haven't seen that process i will have that video linked in the description box down below but once I have sectioned off my hair, I make sure my hair is soaking wet before I go in with Uncle Funky's daughter curl stimulator. So this is your left, but my right. And I am just going to make sure my hair is covered with this product. Roots to, well, almost roots. Roots to ends. And I think having soaking wet hair helps with the application and it makes sure that I have the product evenly distributed throughout my strands. You can see I had broken that back section up into two separate sections. So I put my head back underneath the shower head to make sure that section was fully saturated as well and continued with the same process. So of course, I'm not trying these products out alone. My topper gel that I am going to be going in with is none other than Eco Slay's Jello Shot. A few of you guys suggested that it worked really well with Curly Magic. I wanted to see how it would perform with Orange Marmalade. So as you can see, I put my head back underneath the shower head, got my hair soaking wet once again, and went in generously with my Jello Shot. And on application, my curls are instantly defined. And look at that hang time. Look at the stretch of my hair. This is how I just know this is going to turn out okay for me. Now, I do want to mention that my hair had an interesting feeling to it. It almost felt like, I don't, I don't know, like coated and almost gave like a squeaky clean sound as I was applying the products and like smoothing the products into my hair. It made that squeak sound, which was so weird to me. But at this point, I didn't care because I felt like my hair looks good. Like I am sitting here playing with the coils, okay? I don't want this to take all day. I decided to start on the other side of my head. So I make sure my hair is soaking wet once again. And I take a few pumps of the orange marmalade, put it into my hand, try to show it to you guys. And I dropped it. I was so mad at myself, but I was just like, whatever. And so I tried it all over again. So we're just going to go through and do the same technique on this side. I broke my back section into two smaller sections just because I felt like it was easier to work with. I made sure my hair was soaking wet throughout the entire application process. I will say that the orange marmalade feels a little thinner than the Curly Magic and it had me a little concerned. I just kind of felt like maybe the moisture wouldn't be there, but I'm trying to combat that by making sure that my hair is soaking wet as I'm applying this product. And also I kind of noticed that my hair wasn't as easy to detangle with the orange marmalade. Not saying that it's a bad thing. You should detangle your hair before doing a wash and go anyways. So be better than me. Just wanted to point out that difference. And as you can tell by the look on my face, I'm pleasantly surprised because the orange marmalade is still putting the weight on my hair that I like. So therefore, I'm feeling like the results are going to be about the same. So fun fact, when I went in with the Eco Slay on top of the orange marmalade, same feeling. It had that same squeaky feeling that I got on the side that I used the Curly Magic on. So if somebody knows what that is about, like let me know. It could be because they are like botanical products, maybe. I don't think Orange Marmalade is a botanical product, but nonetheless, it had the same feeling. Here we are, I have this back section complete. I'm feeling good, feeling great. I'm gonna spin around, let you guys see the back. See if you can tell a difference between the two. I can tell like a really slight difference, but y'all let me know. You think they look the same? You think they look different? You think one side looks better? Leave it in the comments for me. 
Here's what Fred looks like with the products fully applied. I did do the Curly Magic side first, so I feel like it's starting to dry and is a little bit puffier, but I think my hair looks pretty good wet, and I'm going to sit underneath my hooded dryer until my hair dries. But first, you know I gotta go ahead and get my head sprung. <laughs> This is my hair after sitting underneath my hooded dryer for about 45 minutes and then I just went in with my blow dryer and made sure the roots were good and kind of like broke some of my hair up. Um, but y'all, I feel like this is one of the best wash and goes I have done in a long time regardless of this head to head battle. So, do y'all have a favorite side yet? comment down below and let me know what I'm going to do is not in this video here I actually want to sleep on it and see if I can tell a difference just like in the moisture or how my hair feels um surprisingly the hole doesn't feel crazy and y'all I didn't have to stretch my hair like this is what I mean when I say I need heavier products in order for my wash and goes to look good so I'm just gonna you know give you guys a really good look I'm just gonna slap my bonnet on I'm not going to stretch it tonight I may stretch it tomorrow so it might look a little different but honestly I even like this length without stretching it but y'all I might actually get my wash and goes like top tier soon but we'll come back tomorrow and wrap this video up okay so it is the next day and this is what my hair looks like i stretched it a little bit earlier and these are my final thoughts so i love both combinations and i feel like if i would have took my time and really executed the wash and go the way i know that i can the results would have been out of this world because i love these results right now like this is good to me um, but I do have a favorite side. Although I feel like I have more elongation on this side, I like the curl definition on this side. I prefer the curly magic side. Now, don't get me wrong, the orange marmalade and jello shot did what needed to be done. And if I didn't have this side of my hair, like I would be perfectly fine with the results. But if I had to pick a side, I would go with this side, surprisingly. And as far as like moisture goes, it honestly feels about the same. Like it doesn't feel super moisturized. And I know that I didn't use a leave in, but my hair doesn't feel dry either. So, I mean, I feel like it's going to last. I just feel like, I don't know, once I stretched it, this lost this cast a lot more than this side did. Um, it's a little puffier at the roots and that could just be user error. I may have like not applied the product as well, but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can see such a difference in the shape on this side versus this side. And I just, I just like this side. So honestly i could recommend both combos as wash and go combos and especially after sitting underneath my hooded dryer like oh my goodness changed my life and i know some of y'all had already told me to try this combo together but i don't know if y'all have ever used orange marmalade with jello shot thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you really really soon